Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And watching this little colony right here on the end of the row. Trying to find one that's got a little bit of light, I can see. Um, they're bringing in lots of pollen. Tons of pollen. And you can see right there, about every bee coming in there has got pollen on their legs. So if I can get a little bit closer where you can see. Now this is one of the things that I've talked about in uh, previous videos. And a lot of people ask also when to start feeding sugar to your bees, sugar water. Well, I always said when the red maple was blooming and you see them bringing in lots and lots of pollen, it's time to feed sugar water to your bees. Now look, hopefully this shows up on video here. They're bringing in quite a bit. Uh, the bloom actually just, we're here in North Georgia, so I'm, I'm a little bit late to getting the video out, but that's okay because that way some uh, beekeepers north of here, also their uh, red maple I'm sure is blooming by now through Tennessee, I would think. And, uh, but this will answer your question about when you need to start feeding sugar water to your bees. And, and I'll tell you why, is when they start bringing in, look at this little bee right here, landed on, on my arm. She's got a big wad of pollen on her arm. You can barely see it right there. Uh, some of it, uh, now and it's not all from the red maple because uh, you can see different colors in the pollen that they're bringing in. There's a lot of dandelion bloom. Uh, Hembit is bloomed out, but this little colony right here is bringing in quite a bit. See the different colors there? You got some yellow, some red. So there, there's, like I said, dandelion hembit coming in. So it's time. When you see this, start putting the sugar water to your bees. Because when they start bringing this pollen in, what that means that's feed for the for the baby bees so what happens to that queen when they start bringing in loads of pollen like this that triggers her to throttle up and start laying more and more eggs and so what you want to do is is get them a good strong boost in the spring and start feeding them uh, lots of sugar water through your hive top feeder if possibly uh, and I'll show you here in a second some of the things that's blooming that I can see from here. But it's it's good to see this. It always it's always good to see this in the spring when you see when you see them bringing in the red maple. So this pan over here, just right here beside the hive, right here is a lot of hembit. And, and the hembit this year, I, I was expecting it to be slow starting off because we had some pretty hard freezes. But it's not the case this year. It's, this hembit is absolutely everywhere. It is, it is all over the... This garden right here, this one of my garden spots, you can see tons of it. And right here is a big giant patch of hembit. And we'll get over here and I'll show you the, the red maple that they're feeding on and dandelions. See right here, all this right here is solid hembit. So there's tons and tons in this yard alone. Okay, this is a red maple tree right here. And you can see, right there it's bloomed out, get a little close up where you can see what it looks like. And this tree is absolutely wide open and it's kind of hard to see on the video, but there's bees all over it. And they're working this red maple pretty heavy. So, so keep that in mind. A lot of people was asking me, when do I start feeding sugar water? Okay, when you see this, now, now just because we are here doesn't mean in Pennsylvania or New York or 
north of here or even Virginia, it, it just all depends. Uh, keep an eye on it. This is the indication that we go by, and this works out great for us. When we see the pollen coming in and the red maple blooming, we start feeding sugar water. It's time they'll start taking it down. If you was feeding dry pollen at all, uh, through the winter, they'll pretty much stop. When this stuff starts coming in, they, they completely stop. And because they got a, a more natural pollen coming in. So I want to put that video out, video out today. I thought that was very important. Start putting the sugar water to your bees, get them strong, and you will have good, strong bees in a few weeks, your hives will absolutely explode in population. Uh, just a little reminder, March 3rd, Saturday, March 3rd, we're having our first coffee chat. Uh, it's in a 215B Market Street in Chatsworth, Georgia. And I'll put an address below, anyone interested. Um, we still have tons of packages for sale nukes for sale go to barnyardbees.com to put in your order i'll also put the store number in the description below it's a uh, it's area code 706-971-2700 and i'll put it below just so everyone can see if anyone interested we've sold tons of packages this year already and nukes it's gonna be a good year it's gonna be a good bee bee year and please like and subscribe please pass our videos along please share them and thanks for watching barnyard bees